either M doctor Riaz Alikan, um, emergency medicine doctor, CCFPEM, working on a snorkel mask that is adapted to a CPAP device uh, that is safe for aerosolized generating medical procedures. Um, so I'll show you the mask now. I'm just gonna flip the camera around, two seconds. So this is just the uh, snorkel mask here, just bought off of Amazon. Uh, this here is something called the Charlotte valve. which just clips on right at the end of the snorkel mask where the usual regular snorkel goes. This is a little one-way valve that we've designed so that uh, oxygen is able to go in but not come back out. So no expired air can come back out through here. Thus, everything is expired and forced out through this port. So what we're gonna do is just take note that we've reversed the small little valves here uh, just by pulling them out and turning around and putting them back on the other side. This means that when the oxygen comes in through here, goes into the mask, it can go back into here. When the patient breathes out, it can't go back into here, thus reducing the risk of CO2 retention. This port has also been flipped and blocked so that no expired air can come out through here. So when the patient breathes out, the air will be forced out through one of two channels on the side over here, back up to the top of the mask, and because of this valve, all the air will be forced out through here. Which brings me to the next point, it's a viral filter. So we're gonna put the viral filter on, so any expired air is going through the viral filter. Next, we need a peep valve. So on the peep valve, as you can see, we can adjust the amount of desired peep. Right now it's set to about somewhere to 10 to 15. I'm just gonna leave it at about 10. This doesn't need to be put on the regular device. This is just some, a manometer just to confirm that we are in fact generating peep. So that very simply connects to the end of the viral filter. And so we have that part done. This part is for the oxygen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some corrugated oxygen tubing on top. Put it in there. Pick your Venturi valve of choice. Currently right now we have a 40% Venturi valve. This is just regular oxygen tubing, which we will connect to the oxygen wall port. There we go. Next up, increase the oxygen. The more flow will result in more peep. Right now, I'm just gonna leave it at about a flow of about nine liters per minute. Oxygen is coming into this tube, down into here, through the Venturi valve, entrainment of regular air can still go in, thus diluting the 100% oxygen to the desired amount on the Venturi valve. Goes down the corrugated oxygen tubing by the one-way valve into the mask for the patient to breathe, expired out through here, unable to go out through this port because of the valve, thus everything expired, goes into the fil viral filter and the peep valve will allow us to generate our peep. And the manometer, if we so need to, to actually measure how much peep we're getting. The mask has a tight seal if you just adjust the straps to your desired head size, so that's comfortable, but airtight, thus no air is leaking around from the sides. And that is it. That is the product as a total. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the mask on. Oxygen is already flowing. All right. Mass is on. Keep it going. Also, we're going to connect it to the wall. And I can draw myself.
Everything's all done.